Let's talk about the piston line for the time being. How does the future look for the 22? What's on the horizon for the 22 series? Well, the 22 is kind of an anomaly now because its um, original market is still there. It's still uh, the least expensive helicopter to learn to fly helicopters in. It's uh, the least expensive helicopter to use for cattle mustering or cattle herding. And those markets are there, and, and I suppose they'll stay there. And we will continue to support that market. Although I would still much prefer to have people start out with their primary training using, say, the Raven 1 as their primary trainer because, well, for one thing, it's a four-place helicopter that you would be flying as a two-place and have all of that performance margin that uh, would really add a lot of safety to the training. We really do whatever we can to try to promote safety and reduce accidents. On the R44 side of things, how's, uh, how's that line look and uh, any changes in the horizon for that uh, line? Well, the R44 Raven 2, uh, gosh, it would be hard to come up with a change that would be beneficial on it. It has turned out to be a really well-balanced design and, of course, it's very popular, by far the most popular helicopter on the market today and for the past uh, number of years. I don't really expect any big changes this year. Raven do it. I think it'll stay pretty much as it is. All that being the case, do you have any idea yet of how O10 is going to look overall for your company? Well, I think once it's all turned around and we get into production, it's going to start to look quite good. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take us to do the last finishing off of the type certification of the 66 or how long it's going to take us to get it into full production. But assuming that that's what we would expect it to be, OT 10 should turn out to be a turnaround year and in the end, a good year. As I understand, you've got additional capacity ready to go the minute uh, you're into uh, serial production? In anticipation of this, we uh, finally got additional property that would allow us to add a, a building extension on our west end which will give us the additional floor space we will need when the R66 is in full production. We're very well equipped already with uh, all of the latest state-of-the-art manufacturing equipment, so we won't have to add too much there. No, we're, we're, in, we're in good shape to move ahead with that. Now, we do have to increase our employment back up because it dropped by about 350 employees from just under four, 1,400 all the way down to, uh, we're just a, a little over 1,000 right now. So that will start to turn around and go back up again. But I don't expect any real problems there. You've had a unique opportunity to look at this industry, both as one of the worker bees back in your bell days, all the way to running what is unquestionably the most well-known civil helicopter company in the world. How do you look at the role of rotorcraft in our transportation infrastructure from here on out? There's all kinds of questions about how the economy will eventually affect this industry, but it seems to me that rotorcraft literally have no place to go but up. I think that's true. There are some political pitfalls that have to be overcome. A lot of the countries still have very uh, uh, tough rules and where you can fly and where you can land and all that. So we're going to have to get some of those brought down to reality. But uh, overall, I think it's very good. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.